All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. This one here is going to be a quick hit. And this is uh, just words of wisdom. You know, words of wisdom that should be applied in our life while we walk in this truth. All right, while we strive in our journey, you know, and seeking salvation from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and um, you know, we are living in times. Well, in this particular time, is to seek mercy while you can. Scripture says, "Seek the Lord while He may be found." All right, call upon Him while He is near. Uh, Apostle Paul spoke. He said, uh, "Now is high times to awake out of sleep." For near, for now, our salvation is nearer than when we believe, you know. So for the elect, the elect is gonna use wisdom, you know. I'm thinking of another precept that comes in mind: uh, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of our time. So the knowledge of knowing and wisdom, which is applied in how we man ourselves in the ways of the Lord, is gonna bring stability. So this is Proverbs 16 and 1: the preparation of of the heart in man and the answer of the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. Let's read that again. The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. All right. And you know, it's plenty of times I remember being in camp years ago and you know, guys who come up to the camp, women, and they would say, you know, they ask a question. And when we give an answer, they would say, you know, well, I don't want to hear what the Bible has to say. I want to hear what you got to say. And our reply would be, we don't have nothing to say but what the Lord has to say. All right? Because we're out teaching his word in the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh's word. It's not of us, it's of him that calleth. All right? We're just a messenger, a mediator, you know, between the two. All right? So... When we speak, all right, it's really not of us. It's through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, if you're speaking through the scriptures, all right? Because we don't really have an opinion. We, Matter of fact, we don't have an opinion. Someone asks a question, we, we speak according to scripture, all right? So it says, the preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from Yahweh. All the ways of, of a man are clean in his own eyes but Yahweh's but Yahweh way of the spirits you know because you know in your mind you may think you know what you're doing is right but it's the most high that way of the spirits okay so it says all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes but Yahweh way of the spirits all right because the Lord look within the inward part of man you know just because somebody in their ignorance, an Israelite, let me not say somebody, an Israelite, he's out here selling drugs, smoking, you know, causing trouble, you know, hey, it could be that the Lord see that you might not see is that he has, he, you know, he has it, uh, he just misguided, misunderstood and need correction. So the Lord apply that correction. And then that man, if he, the Lord showed him, show him his word, all right, as the scriptures say, uh, uh, the spirit behind him, say, walk ye in it. And then he changes his life. He, he uh, converts into righteousness, puts away the evil. Then he becomes what? A man of the Lord. Now, on the outward appearance as a man, you know, someone who's, who's uh, who really leads off carnality, all right, and not reading the spirit. You would say there's no way that that man, you know, could be a man of the Lord now. You know, a prime example of that is Apostle Paul. All right. Apostle Paul, you know, he used to uh, persecute the ones who served the Lord and followed Yahweh Shai. But guess what? He changed his life because the Lord woke him up. So it says all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but Yahweh way of the spirits. It says commit thou works unto Yahweh and thou thoughts shall be established. So. Our, our priority, number one priority, is is pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. 
that's you know on camera and off camera so to say all right and what counts more is off camera all right so it says commit thy works unto Yahweh and thou thought shall be established and that's why you know when jokers ask for our opinion we don't have one all right we we yeah we're robots all right toward Yahweh by Shemesh matter of fact the scriptures say we're fools for Yahweh shall see so if we commit our works unto Yahweh then our thoughts shall be established the Lord works through us he gives us what we should say you know coming into the darkest hours you know the hours of temptation Jacob's trouble brothers some brothers gonna be persecuted what Yahweh shall say take no thought what ye shall say for the for the Holy Spirit all right the Rakakwada shall come upon you to speak roughly paraphrasing all right so commit thou works unto Yahweh and thou thought shall be and thou thought shall be established it says Yahweh have made all things for himself yea even the wicked for the day of evil so we understand that the wicked which is Esau Edom and then you got two-thirds of our people that follow after him so they're considered wicked all right but mainly that wicked is Esau we understand his purpose you know that's having understanding you know not getting all upset you know uh, uh, getting upset losing your mind going into a, a, a frantic mode panicking you know when the wicked does wickedly you know well we're not scratching our heads and saying why is he doing that we know why because the Lord said he has made all things for himself Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil and why is wickedness here because of sin all right ultimately it gives a balance you have the good and you have the bad you have the up you have the down you have the right you have the left so really that goes back to balance so all things are made for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right it says everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to Yahweh though hand join in hand he shall not go unpunished and that's some more understanding to know that the wicked the evil they're not gonna go unpunished no matter how long their days are prolonged and they smiling happy and you know exercising themselves in wickedness becoming masters and being wicked as the scriptures say my people are wise to do evil to uh to know good to know the lord uh i forgot how i go i want to butcher it but the scriptures say my people are wise to do evil all right they're not going unpunished there's judgment judgment is taking place every day all right there's all types of people getting judged man and and i'll tell you this head over here in jersey you know Essex county union county all right in this area a lot of women are getting judged every day getting put to death man all right and i'm talking about these wicked women every other day i'm clicking and watching news and here in newark all right women are getting killed man you know just downtown nook uh some maybe the early beginning of this year a woman got her head ran over man she got hit by a car she fell in traffic and somebody ran her head over man you know everyone that is proud in heart which is the mind okay the hebrew word lob is an abomination to yahweh an abomination just means filthy act so it's a filthy act to be a proud man or proud arrogant woman all right that is filthy all right it's not acceptable it says to yahweh though hand join in hand all right though the wicked join in hand he shall not be unpunished meaning you're not gonna go unpunished you're gonna have your day as the saying in the world go every dog has his day all right so you want to be a dog go out here and be a dog and you're gonna have your day all right verse six by mercy and truth iniquity is purged and by the fear of Yahweh men depart from evil so how do you receive mercy all right you receive mercy by acknowledging the truth all right and when you acknowledge the truth you transfer all right from wickedness to righteousness and you stop doing what's wicked so by mercy and truth iniquity is purged and by the fear of Yahweh men depart from evil and that's another key ingredient the 
most important ingredient, all right, that is missing, okay, from two-thirds of our people, and that is the fear of Yahweh. Nobody fears the Heavenly Father. Nobody fears Yahweh Shai. Nobody fears the Lord's judgments. But they fear Esau. They fear getting locked up. They fear getting put to death, you know, or their freedom getting taken away from them, put in jail. But they don't fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. That's fear, man. That fear, that's the important ingredient. All right. Without that, you have no way. All right. You're not making it, man. You're not even in the race. It says, when a man's way please Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. All right. So it's, it's all, you know, it's all well and good when we in. When we are clothed and covered in the shadow of the Almighty, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So when a man's ways please the Lord, just know the Lord got our back. And what he does, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Sometimes you get caught in the jam, you get pulled over by police. And because you manning yourself in a manly way, you know, using wisdom, not being over righteous, ain't got to curse the cop out when he pull you over. Telling that you're an Israelite, automatically you see he's an Edomite, so you want to call him an Edomite. You know, you use wisdom. Be peaceful with all men. The Lord will make your enemies be at peace with you. He probably, hey, you know, you show him your paperwork. Hey, you know, I'm just trying to go. You know, he see that you ain't no knucklehead, no nigga out here, gangbanger, murderer, you know, who they be looking to kill and put to death. Man, he send you on your way, man. Go ahead, man. You know, get that blinker fixed, you know. That's just an example. So hopefully... I hope this lesson was edifying. It's just words of wisdom. It's a quick hit. I uh, want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.